Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Coco Styles, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the tall girl advantages. Now, if you guys don't know, I am doing a series of maybe five to seven videos on being tall and the everyday struggles and you know problems and fashion and confidence and the advantages of being tall and probably like where to shop, where not to shop and all that good stuff. So, but in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the advantages of being tall so i am looking at my laptop guys i just want to make sure that i'm grabbing everything for you guys so i'm just going to jump right into it this i think i have like five five advantages i didn't want to give you guys too much um i did give you guys a little bit more of the problems and stuff because <laughs> it is a lot but in this one we're just going to give you five quick advantages of being tall okay now Number one, we have, we command respect when we walk into a, in a room. And, and I don't mean in a cocky way, but I mean like in a confident way, like we're already tall. So if you're a beautiful woman, or if you're a handsome man, when you walk into the room, people are always going to turn their eyes to look at you, especially if you're confident. So that's one advantage that I do love about it is that people will, will look and stare. Some, you know, be like, oh, she's tall or whatever. But most of the time it's like good looks and stuff, especially if you present yourself in the nice, in a nice, in a, you know, presentable way or whatever. So that's the advantage. Number one is that you command respect when you walk in into a room without even doing anything but being tall. Number two, the second advantage is I know I said it's annoying for people to say you're a model and stuff, but the good side of that is that people are looking at you as if you're like some sort of like, um, let me think, like some runway model. So, you know, it could be a, even on a bad day, you may just have a look, you may just have a walk about you. So that's the advantage of being so people are always assuming that you're some sort of model or something or even somebody. So ladies embrace it when they say it okay uh advantage number three would be you can see over everybody's head so concerts walking down the street <laughs> uh, being in a crowd of people like your friends can't lose you because they see you from a mile away <laughs> um what else and definitely concerts because you know people are always standing up and like even if i don't care if you have seats at a venue people are going to stand up at a concert i am that person that i don't like standing at concerts i'd rather just sit down and just watch the show but no not the people around me so when they do stand and i stand i'm still okay so if you guys are probably maybe five nine and up you will be okay I want to say 5'7", but eh, there's still a lot of men who are like 5'9", so even if you're at a concert, you get just kind of a mix of people, so maybe 5'9 and up women, so we do have that advantage of seeing over everybody. Um, advantage number four is if you go out with your friends and like you're new to a crowd or whatever, or a group of people, they're going to remember you. Okay, so if your friend says, oh, I'm going to bring my friend such and such again. Oh, the tall one? Yes, her. Oh, yes, him. So you will be remembered, guys. So just keep that in mind. Show up and show out wherever you are. You know, like I said, being tall is, it's a beautiful thing. So people will always remember you. They may not remember your name, especially if you just met them. But they will say, oh, the tall girl. Oh, yeah, the tall girl. So that's something that you have that other people don't have. You're tall. And that's what God blessed you with. Um, tip number, I'm sorry, advantage number five. I actually got this from, I think, Huff Post article. They say that we tend to make more money than shorter people. I don't know how true that is. I did read the article before I kind of did this video, but that's great. You know, <laughs> that's great. We make more money than others. So that's number five. Number six, I also got from the Huff Post, and it says we are likely to be 
more successful. Now, that's amazing, right? So for anybody or any, you know, this is more so for like teens and stuff or like young kids growing up and they may be just a lot taller than their friends in school. Don't worry about it, sweetie or young man. You will be successful. Okay, you are destined to be successful. So keep that in mind that Coco Style said you're going to be somebody. <laughs> Number seven would be um, we are less likely to be attacked. Like, okay, I, this is, this is, this is God's honest. Like, this is how I feel. I do feel like molesters and just any attacker, whatever, robbers, I think to me, I feel like they target people where they feel like they can just like disempower really, really quickly. And they may take a second thought about trying to attack a tall person, woman or man, regardless of what you are. So that is an advantage. I do have a story, a quick story, really quick. Living in New York, I remember walking home one day, it's really late. And I see a guy and he's like, he just seemed a little off to me. So he, um, I think I had like a couple of drinks maybe, but I was fine. I wasn't drunk and I had my earphones on, which I should not have had because it was really late, but just, that's just something that I did, but don't do it. And I kind of felt his presence on me. So I'm like, okay, well, let me stop and make sure, let me size him up just in case, <laughs> you know, but I think when he realized that I saw him and that how tall I was <laughs> he kind of like backed away a little bit but had I been maybe a lot smaller he probably could have grabbed me up or something but he probably said to himself well she might put up a fight or something and kind of second guessed it took a second thought but you know that's another advantage that we have guys that people won't test us I'm trying to tell you <laughs> number nine would be um let me see Sports, even though I hate sports, listen, I don't care if it's volleyball or track or whatever, basketball, if you guys are outside playing with your friends, they're going to pick you first because you're tall. They don't even care if you know how to play. You're tall, they're going to throw it to you, you can catch it, you can fling it, whatever, but you're going to get picked first for any sports, guys, regardless of if you know how to play or not. So that's number nine. I think that's number nine. And the last one would be, we have our own holiday, okay? So there's a face group out, Facebook group out there that has about some odd millions of followers. And February 11th, they do Hug a Tall Person Day, which I thought was really cute. Now, these are like probably five, 10 and up people up to like six, nine, maybe seven feet. Um, so that's something cool that I did find out that we do have a little day. I don't think it's like a national holiday, but um, they do acknowledge tall people on that day, men and women and of all ages. And I thought, I thought that was pretty cool. So that was my advantage number 10 that we have a little low key slight holiday for us guys. So that's all that I have today for you guys. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you like videos like this, please comment below um, anything that you would like for me to do on tall women or anything else, guys. Um, you guys know I am a vegan, so I, I am going to start incorporating a lot more cooking videos and stuff. Um, but if you guys did stay to the end of this video, please comment below. Coco, we see you. And I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, and like this video. Okay, bye.